What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am thrilled to be out here on the lake with y'all this afternoon. Gonna be doing a little bit of fall bass fishing. Um, we got a little bit of a breezy one to start off with, but I think that the wind's gonna let up over uh, the course of the next few hours. But if it doesn't, you know, it really doesn't matter because the wind honestly is probably gonna make our bite that much better. But anyways, yeah, it's fall. It's beautiful out here and there's a lot of fish moving around. I'm seeing a ton of bait fish and seeing some bass actively um, schooling on them as well as like some white bass and just other fish. So I'm just really excited to get this mission underway. I think we're going to catch a lot of fish. But before we do, let's go over kind of the baits we're going to be targeting these fish with today. We've got three rods, trying to keep it really simple. First rod I have here with me, a little chatter bait. It's a jackhammer and I've got to pull it apart. There we go. Got the six inch uh, juggle minnow on the back of that thing. This thing has been a killer for me so far this fall season. This is gonna be pretty much my, my workhorse, I think, today throwing around some of these decaying vegetation and then this open water. Uh, but if that doesn't work, I've got this guy, who has also been a major player for me this fall, and that is the Six Sense Baby Well. It's a little, small, three-inch swim bait. And um, man, if you're looking for a small, finesse swim bait to throw around, add some fall fish, whether it be bass, crappie, white bass, striper, I mean, anything and everything, We'll eat that bait. So we're gonna throw this guy around. I'm expecting to get several bites on that. And if we do see some fish busting nearby, as always, I'm gonna have this little topwater bait rigged up. That's a six cents catwalk. And um, that should definitely do them dirty if they do start schooling around. But if I'm not able to catch a fish on any of those three baits today, then you know, I just suck. But uh, anyways, we're gonna get after it. We're gonna get this thing started. We have about three, maybe three and a half hours to fish. So I wanna maximize as much time as possible fishing. So guys, hopefully you're excited to join along with me on today's fishing adventure. If so, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna check out any of the lures and gear that I use in today's episode, be sure to check that link in the description. If you purchase anything from the Six Sense Fishing website, be sure to use the code CJ10 at checkout. That'll save you 10% off your entire order. But with that, we're gonna get things started. We're gonna start kind of going around that way, maybe maybe that way i don't really know i'm just kind of waiting for the fish to show themselves they've been schooling around quite a bit so wherever the fish start splashing at that's where we're gonna go i'll see you there Fish on, fish on, there we go. Not a monster, but I'll take it. That was only like my second cast. He's a tiny little guy, but that is awesome. Throwing around the little six cents baby whale. That's a little three inch swim bait. And we got ourselves a little baby bass. I think we're still trolling forward. Look at that, cute little bass. Hopefully we'll get into some numbers this afternoon. Hopefully we get a couple big ones too. He smashed it. I think he's bigger. Oh, he's always oh, a runner. Well, that's a good one. Gosh, dang, that's a good one. He smashed it. That's what we're after right there, guys. It lifts his drag up a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Goodness. That's freaking fun. Biggin' on the finesse swimmer. No, don't, don't spit it. Don't spit it. Comes a papa. Yeah, baby. Let's go. What's not to love about that? That's a big one. That is a big old healthy one right there. And that baby whale is down the hatch. He thumped that thing so hard and ran straight at the boat. I didn't know if I still had him. I didn't know how big he was. Oh gosh. What is not to love about that, guys? I love fall fishing. It's just my favorite. There's nothing like it. There's just bass everywhere. There's bait fish everywhere. And they're just, they're just feeding up and just crushing stuff. We'll see you. Heck yeah, dude. That's two fish in five minutes. You can't beat it. And there it is. That's a little morsel they're eating that three point. I think it's just three inches. That is the uh, the six cents baby whale. And that is ghost ice minnow. And I've got it on a little little mushroom style, little eighth ounce jig head. And I just feel like it's just a perfect little combination. 
Throwing it on 2500 size reel, 10 pound braid, and using eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And it's just a perfect imitation of what they're eating out here. And really, you know, a lot of these bait fish, they're bundled up in big schools. And so what you're trying to imitate with this is, you know, that one bait fish that strays away from the rest. And um, that's the one the fish are gonna key in on. The one that looks displaced, the one that looks scared <laughs> for his life. Oh God, oh God, right by the boat. That's a giant, that's a giant. That's a giant bass, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is a giant. This is giant. Got that crap, oh my gosh, this is a giant. This is a literal giant. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's hooked in the head. Okay, he's still big. I thought he was like extra big. Oh my gosh, look at that one. He's still a tank. Oh gosh, let me turn the kayak. So that fish was sitting right next to that stump right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this fish. Look at him. That is a thick one. And you can see he just swiped at it and got hooked right in the head. That is crazy. Like I was just trying to readjust myself. Still trying to readjust myself. Oh, he just swiped at that thing, got it. Guys, look at that fish. That is a just beautiful, just studly large one. I mean, that, thing, that thing's gonna be close to four pounds, if not four pounds. Wish I had my scale with me. He's just fat and healthy. I mean, not really fat, fat, but just just, just thick, just a solid fish. I mean, he's just, I mean, just short, squatty, just, oh my gosh, what a perfect fish. Anyways, you saw he was hooked in the side of the head. And um, you know, a lot of times fish will just like ram their, uh, their prey like that and kind of, you know, knock it out and then they'll eat it. And I'm assuming that's probably what this fish did, but we're gonna give it a dunk back into the lake. That was awesome, dude. What a big old bass. There he goes. Oh, I got, I got jacked for a second, guys, because he felt so big since he was foul hooked. I thought I had like a six pounder. Got him. Got him. He came up and got that thing from the depths. I was just burning it back in. Look at that fish. That's beautiful. You're gonna fight and jump. Is that you're gonna do? Is that all you're gonna do, buddy? Okay, let's just get you in here. Let's go. Fish number four. I was worried that first fish I caught was so tiny. I thought we maybe could catch a bunch of small ones, but we've got that first tiny one, two good ones, and this here's pretty quality also. Cannot complain with that. See ya. I just had a fish bite the tail off my lure, so I'll show you how I'm rigging these up. It's really, really straightforward. So here's that jig head. Like I said, it's just a little mushroom style, just small, compact little jig head. You don't want to overpower the swim bait with too big of a hook or too heavy of a head, especially out here in the shallow water. So I'm just running the hook through the bait. And there's actually a little line that runs down the middle of the bait. It's like a little crease. And I kind of use that as my guide to make sure I'm running the hook through there straight. Come out, and then I'm just pushing it up on the jig head. Very simple, very straightforward. And you want that bait to be as straight as possible on your hook so that it runs straight when you're reeling it in the water. That's gonna give it the most natural look. You don't really want it rolling over or like veering off to one side or another. And as you can kind of see, I've been kind of mixing up my retrieve speeds. I've been kind of just like a normal, just kind of medium slow retrieve. You know, these fish are chasing bait, trying to make it look scared. I'll impart some other action by like twitching my rod around. And then I'm also seeing some fish come up after it like on a quick little burn i would consider this a burn you know to try below the surface and i'm only fishing like oh god i had a no freaking a that was another good one there's one right there gosh i'm only fishing like one to four foot of water but most of it being like two foot another one right there it's about to get smoked about to get smoked about to get smoked got smoked got him Got him. Camp at school, and that's another good one. Gosh dang, that's awesome. This water is so clear. Look at that fish. Yes, and he had some buddies too. Tail walking, baby. Come to me. I'm trying to baby my leader. I came out here without any extra um, leader, so I don't want to break it off. That's why I'm kind of being easy when I'm landing the fish, not boat flipping them in there. But there's another good one. Good, like, pound and a half -er. There was some more coming up right here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at these fish. They're coming up everywhere. 
get bit, get smoked, eat my bait, eat it. I know you're right there. Oh, here's a wake. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. No. You got it that time. You got it that time. I straightened it back out. Gosh, that's amazing. Jump. Beautiful fish. I love watching it fight in this clear water. I mean, it looks brown. It probably looks brown to y'all, but it's, it's tannic. It's like tea. He's got some battle scars. Yippee! Gotcha. Another good bass. These all might be about the same size. And I'm okay with that. That's a perfect, I mean, that size fight's good enough on the spinning rod. We'll see you. Got him. Big in. Decent one. <laughs> I'm anchor down. What reach? I ain't gonna reach. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't want to get up on the spot. He's a little. I thought he was big. Him's a little guy. Him's a cute little guy. He there. He's pretty. Look at that stripe. Beautiful little fish. Send him back. There's some more action going on right up here. Gotta get back in there. I definitely saw a big one jumping just a second ago. Got him. Got him. <laughs> there's several sitting in that little pocket right there. I guess they're all probably this size. I think there's some bigger ones. I guess that's our second smallest of the day. That's okay. We don't discriminate here. A little bass. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. That was crazy. That fish literally camped and ate a shad next to me and I dropped my bait right there and he ate it. Oh my gosh, that was nuts. That was nuts. I'm gonna lip you, you little big mouth. You little big mouth bass. Look at that, he's a tub. If we could get that guy to get about twice as long with his proportions, we'd have a 10 pounder. No doubt in my mind. We'll see you. Oh, here he comes. Get it. He got it. That got it. Chatterbait in the pads. Chatterbait in the pads. I think he's bigger. Winch him out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come to the top. Come to the top. How big are you? Oh. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. When they got a face full of lily pads, you can be uh, a little bit deceptive on how big they are. That was cool. First chatterbait bass of the day. Ah, there we go. That's just a, uh, a jackhammer with a six inch divine swim bait trailer, a 3.8 inch. And we got ourselves another little 14 inch sized long bass. That was at least a four pounder. Eat my bait. That might be him. Mm, I don't know. He's bigger. <laughs> I don't think that's a four pounder. Mm. He's like digging down those lid pad roots. Come here. Come here. He thumped it though. Uh, two pounder. Look how dark he is. I'm here in the lights so y'all can see him a little better. Look at that. That fish is dark. Chatterbait. How many fish we caught? 10? Oh, and they're schooling over there. It's like if you just get in one spot and just sit there and just kind of still for a minute, the fish will show themselves and you can cast to them. It's a cool fish. We will see you later, buddy. He janked up my, uh, my swim bait trailer. I need some super glue. Oh gosh. But it gives us an opportunity to try out this bait as a jig trailer or a trailer. This is the new um, Bongo 3.7 from Six Sense Fishing. And it's kind of more of a cross style, oh, cross style trailer. I don't need two of them. There's the pack. There's the bait right there. You can see it's got these two claw-like appendages. So you can rig this thing um, flat like that and have kind of more of like a craw trailer or you can rig it vertically and have more of a bait fish profile. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Again, I wish I had some super glue. This little double barb keeper on these jackhammers is not really nice to um, soft plastics like these. It's more designed for that Z-Man Elastec plastic, which I don't have any of, and I really honestly don't really like that much. 
But I love this chatterbait, so we'll just make do with what we have. This should be a little more durable than this one bait, though. It's got a little bit gummier of a plastic, which I like. I guess we're going to read it vertically. And kind of like that whale, it's got a little crease line right here you can kind of use as your guide to kind of make sure you read up on there straight. This will be my first time using this as a chatterbait trailer, so we'll see how it goes. I've thrown it on a buzzbait, and it worked really, really well. But there we go. That's a completely different profile than what we just had. And a little bit bulkier, so it might tempt a bigger fish to eat it. How's it looking in the water? Looks pretty good in the water. Oh yeah. That thing looks flappy. Where that fish jump at? Behind me. Go bait. Oh, I didn't make it. I'm close. Oh gosh, I'm just like inches off. Hey, I spooked him. Oh God, got him. Got him, he liked the bongo. Stay on there, stay on there, come out of there. Get to the top, get to the top. There we go. Oh, he's a fatty. He liked the bongo. He liked it. Look at there, guys. First fish using the bongo as a, uh, a chatterbait trailer. Worked out well. This is a better than average size fish, I'd say today. We caught this two um, really nice ones earlier on, but since then it's been a little bit smaller fish. But that's a good one. He's chunky, healthy fat springy and he was excited to eat the brand new bongo i'm not sure if they're available yet on the, on the six inch fishing website if so head over there i'll leave a link in the video description you can use the code cj10 at checkout to grab you some you can grab all the products that i'm using today from six cents down there um if they're not there i think they're definitely on tackle warehouse and i'll leave, I'll leave them link there also if you want to check them out oh gosh oh that was gonna be a good cast my line caught that one time there's some fish coming up back here behind me that looks mysterious got him got him that's a better fish that's a better fish on the chatterbait better fish on the chatterbait and bongo oh we went the bongo i think something just flew out of there might have been a shad it was a shad oh there we go look at there he clobbered it. He spit up a shad. And that's a pretty awesome looking fish too. He's thick like the other ones, but look at his tail. That top part of the uh, tail fin up there is black. And he's got that big notch in him. Pretty unique. Like if I caught this fish again, I would definitely be able to recognize it or identify it from others. All these fish are so just stocky and healthy out here. It's just incredible. He spit up a little shad. Hopefully he'll be able to catch him another one. I'm sure he will. All right, guys. Well, I think this is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. Like literally all of my camera equipment is dead. My GoPro died. My big camera died. I have just a little bit of battery on my iPhone here. Um, but man, what an afternoon of fishing. We honestly have, you know, probably like 45 minutes of solid daylight left to fish, but we, we caught plenty of fish this afternoon. We probably caught close to 20 with a couple of really nice fish mixed in. And I mean, that's just all you can ask for in the fall time is just to get on some good numbers and also just catching them on baits that are fun to throw around. Like definitely the star of the show was that baby whale. I thought the chatterbait was gonna be the star of the show. We caught a couple on it, but really the little baby whale did all the damage for us today. But yeah, hopefully y'all are getting out in this great weather and this great time of year, catching some fish, having some good outings. Um, I would love to know if y'all are catching fish in your part of the country, let me know down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed today's episode, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.